Gula Melaka, Sego, Sea Coconut, Atapchi, Coconut, Acai and Salad. What do these food have in common? I'll give you five seconds to answer. Five, four, I'm just going to wait for the answer. No, look at my, look at my, look at, look at this. What's this? Fingers? Hands? No, they come from the incredible family of palm trees. Today, we'll be visiting Singapore Botanical Garden's incredible palm valley to take a look at some of these palm trees and learn more about them. Before that, we're going to recruit a palm specialist and I know just where to find him. Let's go. Hello, Zaki. Hey, hello. This is Zaki from M Parks and he's the de facto palm grower in Singapore. Most palm species are fast growing, so it may take over 10 years for them to finally grow flowers, which are very tiny but they come in large branching clusters known as inflorescences. So these flowers can be pollinated either by wind or by animals such as birds and insects, depending on the species. After which it will grow fruits and some of which we can enjoy. Ooh, we're here! We're going to plant these seeds okay. and um, these are the fresh seeds of the kalapa palm. Wow. So we need to clean the seeds and this is to prevent any pests from coming to your seed trays and also to speed up the germination process. See. Oh, can we eat this? You can, okay. but it's not delicious, I okay. think. <laughs> so after two months, the seeds will sprout like over here. You can see the roots coming from the pillar of the tray. Oh, yeah! Yes. Oh, okay! I'm sorry! Is she doing a good job? Not really. We're going to the gardens now. We take really good care of the palms here. My team and I have a hand in every palms you see here as we introduce over 60 species within the last year. So you mean you guys have a palm in every palm? There are quite a number of interesting palms around here, like the one behind me, it is called a double coconut. So even though it's called a double coconut, it is not a coconut. Don't ask me why. And it produces the largest seed in the world and it weighs over 18 kilograms. And it kind of looks like a butt, so this reminds me of... So that's the lipstick palm or Ooh. the ceiling wax palm. It's native to Singapore. Oh, we can actually find it quite commonly around Singapore and it's also featured on the garden's official logo. Yep. Why is it called a lipstick palm? Obviously, it looks like a lipstick. You know the lipstick that we use? This is the suicide palm. There's uh, less than 30 adult palms in the wild in Madagascar. And the reason why it's called the suicide palm is because the palm dies after flowering spectacularly. When they flower, they use up all their nutrients to, you know, boom, 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 the flowers in that one setting to attract as many pollinators as they can. So when they die, yeah, they all them just die at one go as well. So this is called YOLO in the mindset of the YP language. So now I'm going to show you more of the um, useful palms with edible fruits and other parts. Ooh, yeah. okay. This is the coconut palm, the ones that we are more familiar with. And yes, coconut is a palm. They are one of the most famous and useful palms in the world because not only is the fruit tasty and edible, every single part of the tree can actually be used. I'm eating the sea coconut. Ah, okay. Woo! We should have done that. Oh, so sweet. So this is the toddy palm where the sea coconut comes from. You are eating the seeds. They are actually very tasteless. And the one you're eating here, they are soaked in sugar syrup. Zaki, Zaki, you want some sea coconut? Oh, no thanks. It's nice! Nah, it's okay. This is the salad palm. Okay. It's very spiny. Why is it so spiky? For plants that have spikes, it's usually to prevent herbivory, so it's preventing all the animals from eating the roots and the shoots and the stems because that will destroy the plant. This one is the sago palm. Oh! Yeah, this is where your sago starch comes from. Well, the ones that we eat in desserts? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nah, yeah, yeah. I prepared it. Oh, thank you. Hi Zaki, do you want some? No. Okay, so the sago that you eat here comes from the starch in the trunk of this uh, palm. Oh, okay. But right now, these palms are trunkless, so they are not ready to be harvested for sago. Mm. Do you know that atap tree comes from the seed of a palm, nipa palm? Really? Yeah. The palm grows in the water. It's a type of mangrove palm, and it is native to Singapore too. And also, gula melaka comes from the nipa palm as well. Oh, it's from the same yeah. tree? It's from the wow. inflorescence. So okay. you cut the inflorescence stalk, and the sugar will come. Is that actually gula melaka? Yeah. 
Is this gula melaka? There's two palms inside. Like palm palms. You can have it. Yeah. So this is the acai palm. Oh, acai is in the the like super healthy yeah, yeah. fruit that everyone is like eating right now. Yep. And oh. it's very expensive. Wait, so acai berry is not a berry? No, they are not a berry. They're actually the palm fruits of the palm trees, and that's like a different classification from berries, true berries. Yeah, so this is a palm that we propagated earlier. Oh! As you can see the fruits here. Oh my god, these are the exact fruits that we peeled off just now. Look at it! Do you remember the smell? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Zaki or Mparks, for bringing us around to look for palms. You're welcome. So I've always known that palms are rather incredible, but this trip has really opened my eyes to how diverse and useful they are. Time to finish all this food! Just keep thinking!